We're going to go on to the artist and producer or composer, as a lot of producers are called, royalties. With artist-producer royalties, there's, it really depends on the kind of contract, as far as the artist half of it, that the artist gets paid. Now, there's two type of deals that an artist can sign with a major record label or even an independent. The first is called an all-in. With an all-in deal, the producer royalties comes out of the artist, i.e., if a record sells for a dollar, the producer gets paid, let's say, 10 cents. The artist gets 50 cents. The artist, out of his 50 cents, is responsible for paying that producer's 10 cents. That's considered an all-in deal. To go into a little bit further detail, an all-in deal can be inclusive for the U.S., and outside of the U.S., you actually will get a smaller percentage, which means inside of the U.S., you may get 50 cents per record or a standard percentage is 10% for an artist. And outside of the U.S., you may get a third of that, which means your 10% is down 33 and a third. Okay, let's talk about producer royalties. Producer royalties, even in the all-in deal, is normally roughly 3% or we'll give an example of 10 cents a disc. A producer, like an artist, will get an advance of the money, which means that they may get $10,000 if they're a beginning producer, $30,000 if they're mid-level, $100,000, and these are rough numbers, $100,000 if they are an advanced or well-known producer, a producer known for selling a lot of records. That money that they've gotten up front for their creation, that $100,000 or $10,000 or $30,000, will come out of their cut, which means if the record sells 100,000 units and the record label makes $10 per unit, that's a million dollars. That 100,000, let's say the producer was paid 100,000, that 100,000 will come out first before the producer gets any other money. That works also the same with the artist. If it costs $60,000 total, that $60,000 has to be made back by the record label out of your percentage. 100,000 units, excuse me, were sold at $10 a piece. That's a million dollars. If your, your cut is 10% as an artist, that means out of that million dollars, you're entitled to $100,000. If the expenses of making the record were $60,000, now that $60,000 has to be subtracted from your $100,000, which means that your cut would be $40,000. Now, in an all-in deal, you may owe the producer 10 cents per record. That 10 cents of 100,000 units is $10,000. So that means the 60,000 came out of your 100 grand, which left you with 40,000, and you pay the producer his 10,000, which leaves you with $30,000 left for your pocket. And that's another reason why I say be weary of the advance. Um, don't take, I normally recommend not taking a large advance. Take enough where you don't have to work anymore. You can focus on your music, but don't take such a large advance where it's going to cripple you in the future. Also, if you can fly coach, fly coach. If you don't have to take a limousine, don't take a limousine. And keep your initial cost as low as possible. You definitely want to keep your initial cost as low as possible. And if you can pay for it yourself, even better. Now, producers, they, get a, they normally get a little bit more favorable deal because that recumbent or recoupment doesn't come out of their percentage, which means those recording studio expenses don't come out of the producer's expense. So the producer can get paid in one of three ways. One is called record one. That means he begins getting his 10 cents from the very first record sold. So that means the minute it goes in store, the very, the very first person that buys the record, he gets his money. The other way is perspective, which means the record, he doesn't get his 10 cents from the very first record sold. The record has to make its recumbent, which means if, they cost, if it costs $60,000 to make the record, they have to, the record label has to get that $60,000 back out of the artist's percent. Once again, we're talking about an all-in deal. Out of the artist's percent. And then he gets his 10 cents per record. And then there's the retroactive deal. With the retroactive deal, what that means is, just like the prospective deal, the producer has to have his recumbent paid. The money that the record label put into the project has to be paid. Um, they have to make their money back out of the artist's percentage. And then the producer gets his 10 cents. But unlike the prospective deal, he gets his 10 cents from that record on and then begin collecting the 10 cents from the records that have already sold. So it kind of goes back in time to the records that have already sold and he gets the 10 cents off of those 
along with the 10 cents from the records from that point on after they've collected their money. Okay, now we're going to go into escalations and this deals with the artist. Escalation means that after the record has sold, let's say 500,000 copies, the artist may no longer get his 10% or 50 cents a record. He may now get 11%. Then after a million records sold, it may escalate up to 12%, which means they're rewarding him for making a hot selling or a high selling record. And then it may even be a third bump, a third escalation after you know a million and a half records. It may go up to 13% or 12.5% or 13.5%, depending on the escalation and the original contract. It has to be in writing. Always get your escalations and your percentages in writing. Now we're going to talk about a partnership. A partnership really doesn't affect the producer and the producer royalty, but it does affect the artist tremendously. The difference between a partnership and an all-in is, an all-in you normally get a lower advance and a lower budget and of course a higher recumbent, which is the deficit that you've created in the making and promotion of promoting of your record as an artist. With a partnership, a partnership is a little different. A partnership, you normally get a larger advance, you get a larger budget, or which is called sometimes a fund, which is the money used to make your project and promote your project. But with the partnership, they get a percentage of everything. So normally, they split it with you 50-50. Sometimes 35% you get, but a lot of times partnerships are split 50-50, which means instead of you getting your 10%, you actually get 50%. The advantage of a partnership for an artist is they get a larger percent. The advantage of a partnership for a record label is that they not only get a percentage or money from the sale of a record like they would with an all-in, but they get the sales and money from everything that you make money off of as an artist. T-shirts, caps, paraphernalia, basically anything you make money from, they get half of. It's beneficial to them because they feel like there's more avenues for them to make money. A lot of times it's beneficial for you because you get a larger piece of the record label sale, the record sale pie. All right, I think we've covered uh, all we're going to cover today. Thanks for listening. I'm Johnny Omega, and remember, dreams can come true.